There have been five Federation ships with that name. Please specify by registry number. NCC-1701. No bloody A, B, C, or D. Program complete. Enter when ready. Part one of the Cutaway Enterprise NCC-1701 build off. Um, just having a look at what's actually in the box. It doesn't watch the bag, but I just popped it open just to make sure everything was actually here. And um, we've got the cutaway section for the saucer. Very bad that. I'm going to be rebuilding that and a lot of cleanup needed on that part. We've got the saucer section, two parts. I'm going to have to figure out some way of magnetizing the two parts to go back together once it comes apart because I don't like relying on whatever pegs or clips it will use to go together. They don't look too strong. Um, not too bad. Not really any issues with the molding. Just quite clean. Put the cutaway in the cell here. Quite nice. Nice and heavy really majorly wrong with that. He's quite solid as well, not too flexible, so nice. So look at some clear parts for the solid nacelle and then the cutaway nacelle. Other parts for the bridge. And mystery part of the nacelle supports. Okay. Primary hull here, both sides. Not too bad. This is a one piece that's usually separate on the Enterprise kits. That's probably quite strong. No? One day, the NTA is a separate part, but it's a lot bigger. So let's have a look. This is the cutaway. Oh, quite nice. A big white detail here. This is solid for some reason. Um, and also a little bit squint, so I'll maybe rebuild that part. This looks okay. It's nice and solid, so I imagine once that's mounted inside that, it'll be a reasonably solid surface to mount the, the cells on, which are a little bit flexy, so I'll maybe reinforce that with some brass. And got the other cell, the cutaway here, which is quite nice. It's got docking bay doors there, and got the deflector dish mount here, which I believe is slightly off. So that needs to be built. And we have two large instruction manuals. We've got Lots of basic build instructions, it's not a huge amount of parts, and you've got a large decal placement sheet. It's quite a nice little cutaway here. It's probably slightly wrong. I need to double check that against some blueprints just to make sure everything's in the right, well, roughly the right place. And we've got the decals which are awful <laughs> and yellow shameful um, maybe replace those maybe salvage them I'll need to actually see whether this is still transparent or is it going to be this lovely tea stained yellow color that's going to need destroyed by fire anyway that's what's in the box and I'm going to get on to building it Thank <laughs> you.